Chuck's Guitar Geekery. Today I'm checking out these Wilkinson Alnico Telecaster pickups that are in this parts caster here. Now this is a rather affordable set of pickups and frankly when I bought this I bought this as a loaded body so I didn't have the neck just the body that had all the hardware and everything in it. It's what came in it. I didn't even realize that when I bought it. I got it dirt cheap off of I think eBay maybe six or so years ago. Found this Strat style neck third on here and Frankly, this is one of my favorite guitars on one of the settings and needs some work on the others. So I do have some wiring mods planned for this guitar, but I figured I would just do this video on the pickups as you would normally wire a Telecaster before I do the mod. But what better than to just have some sound samples here, go through my Orange Terror stamp and have a Proca Rat when I have games. Yeah, sound samples. I'll start clean, then I'll talk about it later. Why not? Subscribe, please, you know what to do. Okay, so that brings me to my first gripe about these pickups is the bridge versus the neck are pretty imbalanced. So, start with the bridge here. To the neck. So this bridge pickup, it's spanky, it's twangy, it's everything you want in a Tele bridge pickup. And the neck pickup, I mean, I guess they technically call the neck pickup a rhythm pickup most of the time. I prefer a neck pickup for leads, but that's just me. So that's gonna, it's kind of informing one of the modifications I'm gonna do to this, but let's go over to some uh, distorted sounds and see how much of a difference that whole difference in output makes. So, Proco Rat.
all of that is with the pickup heights as good as they're going to get. So it's just this bridge pickup has a lot of output. So if you're going to put this in stock tele wiring, just know the neck pickup leaves a little bit to be desired. Editing Chuck here. When I say it leaves a little bit to be desired, that means it does not have much clarity or attack. It's pretty muffled sounding. So when I say leaves a little bit to be desired, that's what I meant. Back to the video. One thing you can do is you can put it on, when you're on the uh, bridge pickup, you roll your tone back a little bit. And then when you go to your neck pickup, you bring the tone back up. Which kind of balances them out. So the modification I'm going to do first to this is um, Zach Childs has a mod where he actually bypasses the tone pot to the neck pickup and only has the tone pot going to the bridge pickup. So what you do is you'll just pretty much set the... Uh, the tone of your amp to the neck pickup, however bright you want it, how much attack you want. And then you set the tone pot that's only on the bridge pickup as bright as you want it. So it'll probably never be full up. And I think that will help a lot with this. I'm gonna do a video on that when I get to it. <laughs> the volume pot on this is also a little wonky. I've tried cleaning it with the oxit and it didn't help. So I need to get a new wire, uh, volume pot anyways. So grand scheme of things, long story short, the bridge pickup, I love in this guitar. I almost want to turn this into a straight up Esquire. That's just the bridge pickup because I like this one so much. And usually when I do a demo on this guitar, I don't play the neck pickup because it leaves a lot to be desired really. But I will have a video on that modification. I think it will help this and it might get this guitar in a much favorable uh, light with me. So anyways, subscribe. I'll have affiliate links below to both Amazon and eBay if you want to try to find some Wilkinson pickups for yourself. They're pretty affordable. Um, yeah, that's about all I got to say. Till next time, see ya.